let's build another one of them. That one's so fun, let's build another one. Not to complicate things with it, the whale is when you removing this enamel coating on this wall right here, if you just make a very thin, and, and see so I made multiple passes all the way up to the coil, and that's, that's where you go wrong, is you don't have that enamel removed. And see, that's a very thin line straight across with that razor blade. Okay, and then you turn that thing around to the other side, and you, on the same side, then you do the same thing at the same angle holding the coil upright. And scrape that away till that's bright and shiny on both sides like that right there. And that's a very thin dwell. If you rotate, if you turn this piece of, piece of wire right here, if you rotate that when you're scraping on it, you'll scrape off a wider path of bare metal. Actually, when one of these has been sitting on the shelf for some amount of time, that bar, that bar, that bar place right down in there, and you only scrape the top part of that away to to good clean metal. And if it's been sitting on the shelf for a length of time, then you'll have to remove that oxide right there so it'll make contact again. And the the, the amount of that circle right there, how sharp it is has a, a bearing on how much contact it is on that bar wall when this when this bar place comes around there and touches that then the the, 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 the amount of contact is really important and, and you want that to be in balance yes it, it should turn freely with no restrictions whatsoever and one side will be heavier to the other side and it'll go biased to that side or either one of these right here will be a little bit higher than the other one and it'll go biased to the low side there when it's turning but th this thing has to be see it's it's heavy on that bottom side you see that mm -hmm. okay so what you have to do is take that away and kind of tweak it a little bit See, it got better just by that one time right there. But, and if you have to, take a side trip and learn about balancing. And, 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 the, and the thing about this right here, some of the old pros has trouble getting these things running. See, that's a pretty decent balance right there. Now, that should run. It's running. And, and the height from the, this coil down to where that your magnet is going to be positioned is important too. How big a circle you wind, and a battery is a little bit small. You can wind them on these batteries. I heard about, read about it, and but that's a little small for me. I like a little bit bigger one. I may be err err on that on that measurement, but even the ends of these right here, you want them to be really really uh, clean but the battery holder of your choice and so you want both of them making contact good with tension Okay, these are going to be too high for that because I think that this engine, no, what this is the coil that was on this engine when it was sitting on the shelf. So this, the this, the the diameter of the coil and the distance from that magnet to that right there should have a a, a bearing on it. Okay, see the attraction that it's pulling down that to such a force that it makes this vibrate? Uh, okay, that might be a little bit too much. Not 
to that point right there. So, you know, and even the old pros has some problems with getting this simple little electric motor running, you know. Get the battery out of the smoke alarm. You get two free ones a year most of the time. Uh, a piece of an old enamel covered magnetic copper war and a refrigerator magnet and a cast off. Right here is the secret to it is that mouse trap base right there, right there on the wall of that. Let's build another one of them. That was so fun. Let's build another one. Uh, just a handful, you know, three or four nails and a couple of lengths. Well, if we could get one of these on eBay, you know what I mean? If we could buy some kit, boy, that would be a good idea. And let's start up another.